What's up boys? I have a new video for you guys. Today I want to answer one of the biggest questions I've been asked for the past couple of days. Is full delirium worth it? Is 100% delirium worth it considering how expensive fossils are right now? And short answer is yes. Full delirium is still worth it. But let's let me just explain to you guys how this works. So a lot of you guys get really turned off by how expensive fossils are. And now fossils are three exiles each right now, as, as of making of this video. And it doesn't seem to me to you guys that you're gonna make your money back, but you do. You just not make enough money back. <laughs> and now it's um, difficult to understand, but all your money is coming is gonna be coming from RNG from this point, if you decide to use fossils. If you use structured fossils, on average, you'd most likely more or less break even in terms of, at least in terms of your uh, loot tile drops. What I mean is, on average, you get about 10, uh, 10 blight maps every single map. 10 blight maps sell on average for about 14c. 14 to 15c. 14 to 15c is still 2 exalts for one map just from the loot tiles. Now, you're going to be making two exalts from just your old tiles, and on top, of, on top of that, you'll be making money farming simulacrums. One simulacrum is two exalts as of right now. You, you'll be making about half an exalt, half a simulacrum, which adds up to being one exalt. So, theoretically, on average, you'll be making about three exalts pure just from the simulacrums and just from the um, loot tiles. Now, that doesn't sound very good, because, yeah, I know, you're going to be breaking even, if even, because you also have to consider how much, mo how much money you spend on uh, scarabs, watchstones, prophecies, and such. But what you have to realize is that you don't just receive currency from the loot tiles, you also receive peer currency, you also receive currency from mobs, you receive divination cards, exalts, Pure exalts. Some doctors are also nice. If you get one doctor every 40 maps, and a one doctor is of is is about 10 exalts, you'll be making an additional one exalt every single map. Well, half an exalt. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You'll still be making some money back, but all of your money is going to be in RNG. Now there are, some, there are some alternatives. There are some alternatives that you should probably consider. One, you could always buy delirium orbs. Just random delirium orbs, you can buy them in bulk. You can probably buy them in bulk for 6c each. 6c each means you're gonna be spending 30c a map and you'll be getting one exalt back in simulacrums. So, on average, you'll be still making half an exalt every single map and you'll be making some random rewards. You, if you're going to be doing uh, weapons, you have a chance of getting cosplays, you have a chance of getting void batteries and such. But all of those things shouldn't really be considered because most of them is going to be useless. Now, making half an exalt map is good. It is good if you can make a map efficient and if you can make profits from other things, such as exalts and doctor, doctor divination cards. But let's say if you're playing full quantity, full magic find, you'll be getting a lot more a lot more doctors. On average, I was making about one doctor every 20 maps. I, I guess I've gotten lucky before, because I have been making one doctor every seven maps before, for about seven doctors. I've gotten almost a full set in less than 50 maps. But since then I wasn't so lucky, so so there we are. Uh, not too much luck here. Now, let's say you make one doctor every twenty maps. One doctor twenty maps every twenty maps is gonna be half an exalt. So half an exalt plus half an exalt makes one exalt a map. All the only thing you have to do now is be efficient. Make a build that you can make that can farm reliably T sixteens, T fifteen deliriums. What I'm working at now, on right now is a Freezing Pulse full magic find build that can farm uh, full delirium in less than 4 minutes, including picking up loot. 
I want to be as comfortable and, and farming delirium as easily as I possibly can. I know it doesn't make much sense, but even if you're making one Zelda map and you're spending 4 minutes per map, maybe 4 or 5 minutes, it depends how much it takes you to pick up all the loots. Because I know picking up similar comes is a pain, for sure. But we all have to do it. So if you can farm one map every 5 minutes, you can easily farm 10 maps an hour. And there you go, 10 exalts an hour. It's just that. All you really have to have to realize is that you have to be efficient. You have to be good playing a good build. I know some of you uh, have been playing Magic Find, but also struggling at the same time. Uh, Magic Find is not for everyone. Magic Find takes a lot of investment. Especially if you haven't played Delirium before. If you haven't played Delirium before, Delirium playing full Magic Find will be a pain. You'll probably hate your life. I know this much because I've done it myself. I've been, my first build wasn't so good. I was playing Decontagent in full Delirium. Stasis in Delirium, so playing a Decontagent. One of the worst builds possible for Delirium. And then there you go. I'm still here. I'm still farming it. I'm still having fun. Um, I'm, I'll be making a new build. Probably today or tomorrow. It's a freezing pulse build. And actually makes it so all of you guys can enjoy it. Um, one of the people in my Twitch chat have suggested playing Freezing Pulse, which I already have played before, but he suggested a different spin on a Freezing Pulse that makes it so all the mobs you hit are frozen. So in theory, which I already kind of have practiced myself, you'll be freezing the entire map. You see, as you can see in my current video, I'm still freezing mobs, but mobs are not, that, are not frozen that fast. There's still half a second where they aren't, they aren't frozen. Which Freezing Pulse kind of solves, because Freezing Pulse has a lot more speed and a lot more coverage. Especially since Freezing Pulse has a higher freezing base, Freezing Pulse has a higher chance of freeze. I was freezing so much that I could freeze the boss in, in Delirium Maps. Freezing bosses in full Delirium Maps sounds like insanity to me, because I've never seen it before myself until yesterday. Freezing, I have frozen a boss, I have frozen every single every single mob, I've killed courses without using any headhunter stacks. Play full, still playing a full magic build, still playing full magic find build. It's possible, and I'll be bringing it to you guys. I'll be bringing it to you guys, and hopefully you'll enjoy it and play the same build. Uh, don't be discouraged. If you already made the build, it's still good. It shouldn't be too much of an investment from this point. Or the change is really minor. Uh, you'll probably end up spending like maybe 1-2 exalts just to buy the Freezing Pulse and 5c for additional adjustments. But all of this is kind of minuscule. So as of right now, I'll, I'll talk about it, I'll talk about my build in details in the next video. But what you have to know now is, you can make money from Delirium. You'll probably be better off farming um, garbage orbs, like 5c orbs, instead of farming good orbs. But you're still making money back, and if you're efficient, you'll make a lot of money back, just like me. Today I had zero exalts because I spent all of my on my uh, water bomber. Now I have 50 exalts. I've gotten 50 exalts in less than a day. I hope you can do it too. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next one. Hopefully, I'll see you in my Twitch chat soon. And uh, you have a good one. Have a good night.